good morning to all now we will see dpsk modulation and demodulation here we have carrier generator here we are going to get the carrier and here is the bit clock generator and this is the data generator option three options we have and here whenever we are doing the psk fsk ask we compared the data with the carrier so one carrier cycle is equals to one bit duration likewise here we have the bit clock as well as carrier so you may get confusion to which we need to compare to get the data number of ones and number of zeros here the carrier time period is equals to the bit clock time period so that's why in this dpsk we can compare with either carrier or bit clock one bit clock duration is equals to one bit duration one carrier time period is equals to one bit duration so we can compare with any one of these two <coughs> okay then after getting these two signals and data signals first we need to observe these signals are getting or not after that bit clock is given as input here carrier is given as input here and any one of this data has to be given as input here so this is the dpsk signal that's why we need to get the differential data here so differential data directly if you connect the cro here directly we will get the differential data next we need to put the differential data in one channel and dpsk output in other channel we need to compare these two now in psk we compared data and psk output in dpsk we need to compare the differential data and dpsk output whenever we have the one there is no phase shift whenever we have the symbol zero there we will get the 180 degrees phase shift at the output this is about the dpsk that is the difference between the psk and dpsk dpsk is also called as a non coherent version of psk okay so now then after getting the dpsk output this output has to be given as input here and this carrier again we need to connect here don't remove this carrier and here also carrier should be present and here also one more carrier we need to connect then we need to observe the demodulation this output should be matched with the data output okay now we will see one by one connected the adapter just channel 1 is connected here so positive here connected and the ground here we have two options only we can connect any one as the ground so now i'm going to switch on the kit here it is in the dual mode i will go for the channel one mode so this is the data we have for the first option so if i change this op this option to here this is the data if i change this option here and this is the data now we need to decide how many number of ones how many number of zeros are there so i will take first one only so this is the data now we need to check carrier is coming or not so just i am removing this connection from here to here see we are getting the carrier so now i am removing this connection from here to here and we are getting the bit clock also and if you want to compare the carrier and bit clock time period is same or not we can put the connection see here now the carrier is connected in channel 2 and clock is connected in channel 1 so now i am going to switch on the kit channel 1 channel 2 both if you compare these two see positive positive negative negative both will have the same time period amplitude is changing but amplitude is also approximately equal okay so we need to note down the amplitude and time period of these two if you note down one time period that is also enough but amplitude we need to note down for both the signals now put the bit clock is already in channel 1 i will put uh, as it is and channel 2 i am going to connect the data that is channel 2 okay now see here this is the data how many number of ones are there so if i am zooming this one we are not able to get correctly see here so we need to just count the clocks one positive one negative one two only two clock pulses we are getting so one positive one negative otherwise if you are facing any difficulty like uh, fsk what is the time period of the clock that we know and what is the time period of this data this time period divided by the bit clock time period or carrier time period will give the number of ones 
note down the time period from here to here what is the time period from here to here then this time period divided by bit clock time period or clock time period will give the bit clock time period or carry time period will give the number of zeros likewise also we can decide on by comparing also you may get okay i think two ones and how many number of zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 zeros two ones eight zeros that is our data now we need to go for the differential data also okay so now we are getting the carrier clock data our data is two ones eight zeros okay now we will go for the modulator see the connections are carrier to carrier bit clock to bit clock data to data and i am giving the differential data in channel 2 and dpsk output in channel 1 likewise i have connected you can go for channel 1 channel 2 vice versa also okay now i am going to switch on this kit see here see here this is the differential data we have and this is the dpsk output if you observe clearly here we have how many number of zeros means again we need to compare with the carrier so for the convenient purpose i am removing removing the dpsk modulator i am giving this connection to dpsk to note down how many number of zeros are there in this so only one zero one zero and remaining all are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 zero 9 ones this is the differential data for this differential data what is the output we are going to get now i am going to remove this bit clock and i am connecting here dpsk see here whenever we have the zero we have the 180 degrees phase shift to the carrier whenever we have ones one no phase shift that is zero phase shift whenever again we have zero 180 degrees phase shift to the carrier likewise we will get the dpsk output so here in the psk we will compare with the data whenever symbol 1 is there we will get the carrier as it is whenever symbol 0 180 degrees phase shift to the carrier in dpsk we need to compare with the differential data put the differential data in one channel dpsk output in other channel then we need to compare whenever we have the differential data symbol 1 there we are going to get the carrier as it is whenever differential data is 0 there we need to get the 180 degrees phase shift to the carrier this is about the dpsk and these are the connections up to the modulator demodulator to get the demodulation i have connected the demodulator output in one channel next data in other channel we need to compare these two so to get this demodulator output we need to connect the dpsk output here and carrier is also another input and we need we need not to disturb this modulator output and i can remove this one why because just we need to compare with the dpsk output differential with the differential data that's why i have taken this probe from here to here i have connected and in one channel data we need to connect so now i am going to switch on this one see we are getting exactly time period is same but the amplitude is somewhat changing okay so this is about the dpsk demodulator will get directly if everything is perfect okay very easy this experiment is likewise we will get the dpsk demodulator these are the connections if you feel this video is uh, useful like the video thank you so much for watching